This is Gene Key, SkySurf News. Austin police say a woman attacked her housemate, then set the house on fire. KVUE.com reports from Austin. An Austin woman was charged with arson and aggravated assault after setting fire to a southeast Austin home late Thursday night. She was upset about getting a new roommate, according to an affidavit. The affidavit said that Austin police and fire departments were dispatched to a group home in Austin. When they arrived, two women came running out of the house. One woman told police that a 57-year-old resident, Cynthia Ashley Shire, was trying to kill her roommate, Julian Martinez. After being put in the back of a police car, Shire told officers that she was in fact trying to kill Martinez, who is blind with a hammer. Police say that they saw Chire coming out of the kitchen holding the hammer as the house filled with smoke. Police say Chire started a fire in the home and Austin fire investigators also found the front right burner of the gas stove turned on. The Austin Police Association is under fire for a response to a viral video by two of its officers. KVUE.com reports from Austin. The Austin Police Department launched an internal investigation and apologized to sexual assault victims on Friday after a video of two officers making insensitive comments on the job went viral. An Austin attorney posted the video on YouTube last Thursday, and it now has more than 125,000 views. Austin police confirmed that officers Mark Lytle and Michael Costello are the officers in the video. The video shows on May 24th, officers responded to an accident. However, the crash scene is not what got thousands to hit play. It's the conversation between Lytle and Costello. At first, they joked about ignoring crimes. Then they spot a woman in the area and blow a whistle, making several insensitive comments. Kenneth Cassidy, president of the Austin Police Association, issued an apology for the comments but brushed them off, Lytle and Costello merely clowning around. A wedding at 32,000 feet first for Southwest Airlines. WFAA.com reports from Dallas Love Field. Somewhere over Arkansas, Southwest Airlines allowed something it has never done before. Not long after climbing out of Nashville on Sunday afternoon, a four-year-old flower girl passed out peanuts on the crowded Dallas-bound flight. Moments later, as music played, Dottie Coven danced down the aisle in her white wedding dress and veil to marry Keith Stewart. The front of the 737 is a tight squeeze for a wedding. The couple read vows from their mobile phones. She's in sales and he's in IT, and their jobs take them across the country. Stewart wrote a letter asking Southwest if it would host such an event. The airline agreed and chose the first nonstop flight from Nashville to Dallas Love Field for the wedding. The airline has agreed to send the couple on a honeymoon to one of its newest destinations in Puerto Rico. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.